causes of bullying. And I'm representing a young genius who is being misunderstood by her peers and how the actions of her peers affect her. Um, the style of theater that I'm using is realistic theater, and I want the audience to know how their actions might affect other people and how they might, um, their little comments and things they say about others might hurt them and affect them. My name is Jillian Smith. Well, Lamb Spotton Smith, really, but even with my off the scale IQ, it's still a fiddle to pronounce. I live with my mom in the two bedroom flat near the offices just down the road. At school, people make fun of me and make me feel worthless. But I'm sure they're just jealous of my skills. My mom thinks I'm a bit of a know-it-all, but it's not my fault I enjoy learning so much. Last week in math class, I got a question wrong. And so I said, oh, fiddlesticks. And everyone started laughing. Maybe because they thought what I said was funny, or because I got a question mark. But I really hoped it was the first option. As they were laughing, I thought that maybe I am finally being accepted as part of the class. But I think not. At lunch, they were back to making fun of me. Their old tricks. They tease me, they joke about my ginger hair and glasses. Talk, saying names too horrible to say. I can't tell anyone because I have no friends. I can't tell my mom either because she says, it's my fault, I am who I am. But it's not my fault, I have the IQ of 198. Home isn't much better either. Every time I log into my computer, I see mean posts and comments about me. Well, some of you might argue that it is not about me. Well, not directly. Once I read a comment on Brooke Wesley's status saying, oh geez, chill out. You're starting to sound like that Ramsbot break. Sure, that wasn't about me, but it still hurt. Oh, don't give me that sympathetic look. I know even you've done it before. What about that time you accidentally called that obese girl sitting beside you in math class a stuffed meatball. Or you, who laughed when you heard him say it. Or the rest of you guys, who said nothing to stop both of them. Don't you know how that little comment of yours made her feel? What if you were her? I put on a good act that I couldn't care less of what people say or post about me. But truth is, I feel awful. Sometimes I wish I wasn't born who I am. I want people to accept me. My ma says, if you want to get more friends, then maybe you should change your ways. But in my mind, I think, but ma, I don't have any friends to begin with. So how exactly can I get more? I don't wish to be the most popular person in the world, but I just don't want to be teased, called any more names, or be left out anymore. I wish you guys would understand.